my wife is Captain Marvel, chapter 21 so, let's blow it up, fuck. The future s.h.i.e.l. The agent Cyclops Nick couldn't help but explode, and then shouted, you, why are you killing them? However, he shrank in the next second. Watched by Li Wei's indifferent, lifelike eyes, Nick Fury suddenly rose from the solace of his feet and penetrated his heart and lungs. For a moment, there was dense Han, water on his forehead, but his back was already wet with sweat. Das is scary, and Nick Fury is no exception. Therefore, he has already put down the gun instinctively. However, he asked without admitting defeat, looking directly at Li Wei's eyes, Do you need a reason to kill? Li Wei glanced at him faintly, with a cold tone, Yes, I forgot to tell you. This building is already full of bombs by me. If you have any friends in it, please tell them to escape. What? Nick Fury just feels that he is so cold now, he can't care about the fear, and the responsibility has overcome his fear of death. Ignoring the three bat fighters facing him, he rushed directly into the stairwell. He is going. Roar calls on everyone who is still in the building to flee for their lives. And Li Wei didn't stop. Him, just watched him go to save people. You didn't actually plant any bombs, did you? And at this moment, Howard, who should have been vomiting, stood up with the bat fighter on the side, and asked softly, otherwise, why lie to him to save people, really? According to ordinary people's thinking, if you want to bomb a building, then you must want to bomb someone to death. So, if all the people in the building are allowed to run out, what is the point of bombing the building? Is it neurotic? I do have bombs all over this building, Li Wei shook his head slightly and said lightly, moreover, people who shouldn't be able to escape still can't escape. They are destined to die in this building. Definitely Li Wei paused, looked at Howard deeply, and said with a little deep meaning. Moreover, the reason why I want to bomb the building is entirely because it is uncomfortable to look at this building. Ahem, what are you talking about? Howard felt that he was choked, and he didn't know what to say for a while. You think this building is upset, so you are going to blow it up? There is cat disease. Just forget it if you don't believe it. Li Wei shrugged, without explaining anything. He did look at this building upset because he wanted to reorganize and accelerate the formation of a new SHIELD. Then there must be a tri-wing building, and this old building must be blown up. Otherwise, why would it be necessary to build a new three-winged building? Definitely, there is one more thing he didn't say clearly. That is, frame the blame. After today, everyone will know. People with Hydra secretly infiltrated S.H.I.E.L.D and conspired to blow up the building to wipe out all SHIELD. The heroic Nick Fury agent saved everyone and gained a great reputation among the many agents. At that time, in the case of the death of the new director, Nick Fury, who has great popularity and support, wants to take up the post as the new director, this problem is not very big. Definitely, it is naturally impossible for him to talk to Howard Ming. Moreover, he didn't need to explain anything to him. The reason why he asked Nick Fury to save his good friend is because of this. After all, he knew that Nick had no friends. Nick Fury may have a loyal and trusting boss or subordinate, but he will never have friends. Because of his character, it is really unflattering. And if someone who is not a friend saves them, this kindness is even greater, isn't it? Get on the plane. Li Wei shook his head, put these things behind, and looked at Howard lightly, don't you want to know if what I said is true? I'll take you to my experimental base, and you will know it then. Good. Howard gave him a deep look and nodded heavily. He is now the meat on the cutting board, and there is no room for resistance. However, he has a choice. Choose to obey or die. Li Wei won't kill him, this was certain from the beginning. Howard is not boasting, in this era, absolutely no one is smarter than him. Maybe his son in the future can do it, but there is no doubt that Tony can't do it now. Although there is no clue about interstellar travel, it may not be impossible if there is real technology more than 20 years in this era. Soon, the four bat fighters formed a formation, turned on the stealth mode and quickly flew to Los Angeles. On one of them, Li Wei was sitting. On the other, Howard sat. He didn't want to sit on the same plane with Howard, because he was a bit noisy. This is human nature, and this is how people encounter things they love. Although Howard is smart, the times have limited his horizons. So when he got on the fighter plane, he would inevitably ask questions. As for Li Wei, he didn't answer his doubts or listen to him yelling. Therefore, 
he simply threw him to other people. For example, Lucius Fox. As the president and technical director of Wayne Group, he also developed a series of equipment, weapons, and basemen in Batman's hands. His talents may not be as good as Howard and his sons, but they are not too far behind. After all, he didn't open the hangar, and Howard and his son did. Thanos himself said that Tony Shee Stark is a person cursed by wisdom. Brother Eyes, what's the situation on the other side? Li Wei lay halfway on the seat, squinting his eyes, and suddenly asked. Sir, Mr. Fox, and Mr. Stark had a great chat. Soon, a voice sounded in the enclosed space. The sound was natural and smooth. It was completely different from ordinary mechanical sounds. They are now discussing the possibility of magnetic levitation vehicles. Forget it, don't worry about them. Li Wei shook his head helplessly. He didn't want to care about these things. It has nothing to do with him. Although he has this talent, he is lazy. Although he has this foundation, he doesn't want to do it at all. Although he also has this time, but still lazy. It's hard to cross, and it's hard to be a big boss, but you have to be like a technical ape. Isn't that a sand sculpture? How good is it to be a freely behind-the-scenes salted fish? If something is left to the subordinates to do well, he is only responsible for enjoying it. Did there be any actions by the military and the government? Li Wei thought for a while, then asked suddenly. Yes, sir. The voice of the brother's eyes sounded again, the government is very fast. It has already controlled 60% of the people on the list we gave, but 30% still ran away. There are still 10% who are absconding. As for the military, they are in the process of sending people to the headquarters of the Strategic Science Corps. In addition, sir, Mr. Fury has evacuated most of the agents. Oh, this kid. The notification speed is very fast. Li Wei squinted his eyes, and then there was no emotion on his face, just like Thanos, and snapped his fingers, then, blow it up. Asterisk 22 The truth is often cruel, to two more the order has been accepted. The brother's eyes made an electronic sound, and then, a mushroom cloud instantly rose from somewhere behind him. Although it did not destroy half of the universe like Thanos, the explosion was still quite violent. One day, I will wear that pair of gloves and snap the most beautiful finger in the universe. Li Wei was thinking there, like a mushroom cloud behind him, it had nothing to do with him. Yes, it has nothing to do. What is eliminated is the past tense. Li Wei is a person who likes to look towards the future. Whoosh the bat fighter flew quickly towards Wayne Manor, leaving no trace in the sky. This guy is a lunatic. Nick Fury watched the explosion sound in front of him, and there was a trace of fear in his eyes. He succeeded and successfully rescued most of the agents of headquarters. Yes, most of them. There is still a small part, all dead and no corpses. Following the headquarters building, they were buried together. The angry Nick Fury immediately wanted to find Li Wei to settle the account and asked him face to face why he did such a thing. Even if he knew he was not Li Wei's opponent. Not even worthy of letting him do it. Even the chief is killed, do you still care about his little agent? Li Wei doesn't care about his life, and he doesn't care about it himself. The agents around are grateful to themselves, but Nick Fury has only anger in his heart. Later, when the surviving agents began to actively rescue the agents in the ruins, a black bat fighter plane hovering over them became apparent. Unfortunately, most of the people present did not recognize this fighter. Therefore, they did not have the slightest vigilance in their hearts. In fact, everyone who knew the fighters died. Because those people are Pierce's confidants, they belong to Hydra. The rest, even Li Wei cannot guarantee that it is absolutely clean. But at the very least, it can be guaranteed that more than 90% of people are innocent. He couldn't tell the remaining 10% in a short time, even if it was him. Definitely, even the people of Hydra can't make a big storm for this success. Just check it slowly. Mr. Nick Fury, please board the plane. Mr. Li Wei is waiting for you. Before Nick Fury had any movement, the bat fighter had stopped on the ground and its tail opened. At the same time, it was accompanied by a sound. Good. Nick Fury boarded the plane without hesitation. What's even more regrettable is that the surrounding agents thought he had been given some special order, and thought that the bat fighter was a force of the Strategic Science Corps. Then, in front of everyone, Nick Fury was picked up. At the moment, people from the military finally arrived late to take over the mess. Where is he now? 
Nick Fury got on the fighter plane, but didn't see anyone. The space of the fighter plane is so big, it is not enough to hide another person at a glance. Unless, that person is outside the fighter plane. However, Nick Fury did not suspect that he was being teased. Because the fighter plane had already taken off, he had seen it when he arrived. This is the function of autopilot. Mr. Li Wei has returned to the manor, and he is enjoying the wine with Mr. Chi Stark. Brother Eyes spoke out Li Wei's message very sincerely, which made Nick Fury's anger even stronger. Their headquarters were all bombed, and you were drinking with someone as a result? Could it be that the lives of hundreds of agents are not worthy of your attention? In addition, Mr. Li Wei told me, just as Nick Fury was burning with anger, the brother's eyes suddenly said, let me show you this piece of information. After you read it, you will understand what is going on. In the next moment, a panel screen was lowered from the top of the cabin and hung in front of Nick Fury. And on this panel, there are lists, headed by Alexander Pierce. Nick Fury originally watched with anger, but the more he watched, the more frightened and silent. At first, he thought it was fabricated. But soon he denied it himself, because no one was bored to make up these things. Even if there is, the fabricated is always fabricated, and there are bound to be loopholes. However, as an agent of the Strategic Science Corps, Nick Fury still has the most basic judgment of ability. Obviously, what the information shows is true. Hydra, there is a resurgence. During World War II, Hydra was originally an evil organization in the hands of the Nazis. But in the end, Hydra betrayed the Nazis and the Fuhrer, and they became independent. In the Marvel world, the failure of the Nazis is actually related to the pig team mate Hydra. Originally, the United States' participation in the war had already made the national front a bit tense, and Hydra scientists finally developed new technologies. As a result, Hydra rebelled and wanted to destroy the world. In the end, the ending is naturally doomed. The top leader of Hydra, Red Skull, died, and the captain of the United States disappeared. However, Hydra did not die, because the United States was infiltrated by Hydra long before Hydra was destroyed. Definitely, Hydra was still weak at that time. Then, under the instigation of these people, intentionally or unintentionally, the United States started the Paperclip Project. The content of the Paperclip Project is a plan for the United States to absorb Nazi scientists from the country during World War II. At that time, the United States transferred a large number of rocket technology experts and high-level researchers to the United States by competing for technical experts from the Nazi the country. As a result, the United States has accumulated a large number of scientific researchers, including Hydra's villain, Dr. Zola. And it is for this reason that a large number of Hydra key personnel have mixed into the United States through this program to impersonate scientists. The United States has absorbed these people and is also responsible for providing them with new identities, letting them get rid of the name of the Nazi party and become their safe haven. It is precisely because of this that Hydra began to move into the United States. From the government to the FBI to S.H.I.E.L.D, their people are everywhere. Definitely, the top military level did not, because most of the generals in the military originally came from World War II with innocent backgrounds. And even if they are to change the term later, they still have their own people, and it is not Hydra's turn. However, although a considerable part of Hydra invaded the United States and began to take root, however, some Hydra remained in Europe and continued to resist. As a result, Hydra is divided into two. Although the two parties are still a whole, they are also cooperative relations. But unfortunately, they are already at odds with each other. The mountain is high and the emperor is far away, and the nominally supreme leader of Hydra is still in Europe. But the Hydra of the United States has become a school of its own, and Alexander Pierce Howran is the best one. He also holds the list of almost everyone in Hydra throughout the United States. And this is just convenient for Li Wei to kill all these people in one fell swoop. Ever since, the entire Hydra organization of the United States, one wave, all extinguished. Nick Fury stood in the cabin, silent for a long time. Even if the bat fighter had been parked on the tarmac, he didn't realize it. The whole person was confused, even he himself didn't know what he was doing or thinking. He always felt that one of his beliefs was shattered. Mr. Nick Fury, please go up the elevator, Mr. Li Wei, now waiting for you in the meeting room on the third floor.
The electronic sound of the brother's eyes is constantly urging there. Asterisk 23 speak up. 23 more Nick Fury didn't know how he came along this way. He was always in a state of confusion. When he took the elevator again to the third floor, he realized that Li Wei was already sitting on the sofa and waiting for him. And the subordinates that he had brought before still did not leave and were standing tremblingly on the spot. Mr. Li Wei, I want to know, are the things you showed me real? With a bitter smile on his face, Nick Fury looked at Li Wei with the last 10,000s hope in his heart. He doesn't actually want the answer, he just wants someone to hit him. Head on and break his illusion. Don't you already have the answer? Li Wei shook his head and said lightly, Moreover, as an agent, don't you even have this basic judgment of ability? I, Nick Fury opened his mouth, but after all he didn't say a word, just smiled bitterly. He couldn't believe that the Strategic Science Corps, and even the entire United States, had been eroded like this by Hydra, almost riddled with defects. Except for the military to be promoted quickly because of war, otherwise it can only be experienced, so there are no Hydra high-level people. Government, FBI, CIA, S.H.I.E.L.D., which one does not have Hydra? Even this time, the governor of a state is from Hydra? If this takes some time, I am afraid that the entire United States will be over. What's your plan? Li Wei asked bluntly, this time the Strategic Science Corps has suffered a heavy loss. The director has died and the center has been bombed. With your current reputation, have you ever thought of reorganizing the Strategic Science Corps? Reorganization. There was a slight movement in Nick Fury's eyes, but he quickly shook his head and smiled bitterly, they won't agree. The United States, or any country has been divided into two powers since ancient times, civil and military. In ancient times, there are hundreds of officials in history, civil and military affairs, and in modern times, it is the political and military circles. The government and the military are inherently opposed to each other, which is related to interests. The position under their buttocks determines that they must fight for their own interests. Therefore, if you want to fight for benefits, you will inevitably touch the interests of others. The military undoubtedly controls the military in charge of external affairs, while the government is responsible for the operations within the system. From the police to the CIA and then to the FBI, these organizations have different levels. But in the final analysis, these organizations actually belong to the government. However, the military has never given up on interfering with these forces. They don't want to put their own people in it all the time. It's okay that there are no accidents, but now something has happened. Not just one or two, it's the entire political circle that has caused a major event. Especially S-H-I-E-L-D. Even the director is from Hydra, and even the headquarters building was bombed. The military is different, and the military is very outstanding in comparison because they don't have a high-level Hydra agent. Therefore, in Invisible, the military has already taken the initiative. In fact, it is true. At the moment, the military has all been dispatched. Surrounded by the entire Strategic Science Corps, all agents are also under centralized supervision. It can be said that this incident provides them with an excellent excuse, and they are likely to use this to completely control the Strategic Science Corps. Therefore, it is impossible to give Nick Fury a chance to reorganize. The government won't help me either. Nick Fury said calmly, but there was a flash of sadness and despair in his eyes. They all have problems themselves. If they are caught by the military, they will easily cause big problems. Therefore, they will definitely abandon us and throw us to the military acts as a compromise. The military will no longer hold them accountable because they have gained benefits. The government has also been able to save and will not be aggressive by the military. This is how politics works, compromise with each other. What's more, we and the government were originally at odds. Although S.H.I.E.L.D is the same as the FBI and the CIA, they are all under the jurisdiction of the government in name. But in fact, S.H.I.E.L.D has never given up being detached from any country. And Hydra, Although they are undercover in S.H.I.E.L.D, they are also making such calculations. So they have always been in peace, because their purpose has not been achieved. Everyone wants to be above the government. But in this way, the relationship between S.H.I.E.L.D and the government is also extremely bad. In exchange for a compromise from the military for an organization that listens and does not listen to the propaganda, 
people in the government will only feel it is worth it, not that it suffers. I didn't ask this question. Li Wei shook the goblet with red wine in his hand, and said lightly, I just ask you, if you want or don't, you only need to answer me one word, or two words. Think. Nick Fury pondered for a while, then raised his head, with a hint of hope in his eyes, and replied decisively, with a sonorous voice. Although he thinks it is impossible, who doesn't want a miracle to happen? The United States. Although it seems to be the largest in the government and military, but in fact, everyone born in the United States understands it. In the United States, the consortium is the largest, and one of the largest consortia in the United States is the Wayne Group. Even the history of Stark Group can't match it, because Stark only specializes in arms, but Wayne Group makes money everywhere, there. Industries are all over the world and involve all walks of life. If the Wayne Group is willing to die, coupled with the help of the Stark Group, one of the founders of the Strategic Science Corps, then the Strategic Science Corps is highly likely to be preserved. Even if, from then on, the Strategic Science Corps will be tightly controlled by the Wayne Group. But what does that matter? They couldn't stand aloof, and now they just replaced the master from the government to a consortium. There is a phone over there. Li Wei nodded in satisfaction, pointed to the brick-like mobile phone on the side, and said lightly, the number is on the table. Go and tell someone from the military, I think. I don't need to teach you anything, right? Um. Nick Fury took a deep look at him, took a deep breath, and slowly picked up the Big Brother's phone. Even in the Marvel world with black technology, the end of the 1980s was still the era when Big Brother was generally used. Although 2G has been invented, it has not yet become widespread. Looking at the phone in his hand, a trace of hesitation flashed in Nick Fury's eyes. He is very clear about the consequences of this call. Because Lee Wei was forcing him to make a statement, forcing him to completely break with the military, cutting off his back, so as not to fall on both sides of the wall. Nick Fury understands Li Wei's approach, but when he is the client, he still cannot accept it peacefully. After all, this is for him to cut his own way. Asterisk, Nick Fury is still hesitation, he is thinking. He doesn't recommend breaking with the military, but the question is, is Li Wei playing tricks or really trying to help him? If he does not break with the military, with his actions today, he has already established a tall image in the hearts of other agents. At that time, even if the military wants to take over, it will certainly not be possible to replace all of them with their people at once. Therefore, they must continue to use these agents. Nick Fury, they will inevitably be elected as the new director. Even if it is a puppet, the director is the director, and the power status is true. Moreover, he is not willing to be a puppet, and there is no possibility of a comeback. But if he breaks with the military, Li Wei is willing to help himself, but if he is unwilling to help, then it is really over. Nick Fury secretly observed Li Wei's expression, but he couldn't see anything. He just sat there sipping red wine, as if nothing had anything to do with him. Nick Fury is struggling, but he has to make a decision after all. Roar. Taking a deep breath, Nick Fury gritted his teeth and picked up the note on the table and dialed the number. He didn't ask how the number came from, nor did he ask who it was called. But he knew that it must be someone from the military. Beep. This is Major General Rose, who are you? As the broadcast rang, there was a full of breath on the other side of the phone. Just by listening to the voice, Nick Fury already knew who the other party was and smiled helplessly. Major General Ross, one of the few powerful generals in the military, is known as General Parrick Ross. The reason why he is called General Pili is not only because of his character, but also because of his promotion speed. He is only in his 40s now, but he is already a major general in the Air Force. The highest rank in the United States, except for George Washington who was awarded a six-star general, the highest is only a five-star general, and he is only awarded in wartime. The five-star general is equivalent to the marshal. In fact, the highest rank of the United States today is only a four-star general. After that, he was the lieutenant general, also known as the Samsung Admiral. Rose is a major general, can also be called a two-star admiral. It can be said that except for a few people, he is the boss. The life of General Ross is legendary. He graduated from West Point Military Academy. In the first place, after graduation, he quickly hooked up with his commander's daughter and got married. After that, 
he was promoted directly to captain because of the care of the old man. Not long after taking office, he participated in the first war in his life and quickly became a major. Soon after, he went through another war and became a colonel by exception. Not long after this, he encountered the next war. Subsequently, he became a general of the United States Air Force. This is the young and middle-aged faction belonging to the military, with a firm and resolute attitude. The military representatives of the old faction would still make false claims with the government, but he went straight. The military forces headed by him have always wanted to intervene in the internal control of the United States. And this time he took over the Strategic Science Corps. He was the fastest. And this guy, in the future, will become the Secretary of State of the United States and the supreme leader behind the scenes of SHIELD Major General Ross. I'm a level 7 agent of the Strategic Science Corps. Nick Fury. Nick Fury took a deep breath and said slowly, I want to find you. The seventh level agent of the Strategic Science Corps? As far as I know, your headquarters have been bombed. All of you are suspected of treason. Also, how did you know this number? Do you know that it is illegal to invade the military's secrets to investigate the information of the Major General? Even your chief does not have this right. Also, where are you now? Why were you not there? When our military called. Now I order you to report to the ruins of your headquarters. I don't need to hold you accountable? Immediately, immediately. Nick Fury hadn't spoken yet, but on the other end of the phone was overwhelming words from General Rose, completely placing himself in a superior position. However, in fact, the Strategic Science Corps is not under the jurisdiction of the military. In theory, they are equal. After all, if the 10th rank corresponds to a 5-star general, then the 7th rank corresponds to a major general. Well, nothing wrong. The 7th level agent is already a high-level confidential person in the Strategic Science Corps, and it can also be regarded as a person who has entered the confidential level. Otherwise, Nick Fury would not have that qualification. It's just that now that he has been criticized by others, his psychology is also very uncomfortable. At the very least, Li Wei saw the black face darker on the spot. General Rose, I am speaking to you as a peer. Nick Fury took a deep breath to calm himself down, and calmly treated General Rose on the other side of the phone, and said lightly, please immediately withdraw the troops from downtown New York. The matter of our strategic science corps can be handled by yourself handle? Do you have this qualification? You even the headquarters building was bombed. General Ross on the other end of the phone seemed to be irritated, and was roaring at the phone. Both Li Wei sitting on the sofa and the agents still shaking in the corner can hear clearly. It won't take you. To worry, Rose, Major General. Nick Fury said faintly, even deliberately prolonging the tone, this time the bombing is just our preview. We are going to reorganize the Strategic Science Corps and build a new headquarters building. Also, Major General Rose, you remembered me, my name is Nick Fury. After speaking, Nick Fury directly hung up the call. Afterwards, his face calmly looked at Lee. Wei. His conversation this time didn't make any sense. It was only used to stun General Ross, the military's top leader. Because now he only needs to express his opinion to Li Wei. He can neither care nor care about other things. Papa Papa. Li Wei put down the goblet, stood up slowly, clapped with both hands, with a smile of relief on his face. Nick Fury's mouth twitched slightly, but he didn't say anything after all. Very well, Mr. Fury, your attitude proves your position. Li Wei slowly stretched out his hand showing a sincere smile, then, after the reorganization of S.H.I.E.L.D., you will be the new director. Thank you, sir. Nick Fury also laughed, and slowly stretched out his hand to hold Li Wei together. He understands that his statement is not wasted after all. Li Wei's seemingly random sentence was his promise. These rich people are like this, they want to face and suffer, but what they promised will not go back. As for failure, he he. Businessman ownership is the smartest guy. Since they dare to make a promise, they must be 100% sure. Asterisk sir, what would you like to drink? With a kind smile on his face, the housekeeper Alfred looked at the restless black man on the sofa and asked, whatever. Nick Fury was still a little uncomfortable, so he waved his hand and passed away. Bring him a box of Lafite for 82 years. Li Wei snapped his fingers and said lightly, okay, sir. Alfred nodded slightly, then stepped back to get the wine. 
Nick Fury's mouth twitches slightly. A box? Do you think it's beer? Want him to step on the box to drink? Sure enough, this extravagant appearance, the face of the consortium can be regarded as let him see clearly. Mr. Li Wei, drinking is not necessary. I still want to know how you want to deal with the military. Nick Fury sits right in his face, looking at Li Wei with a serious face. People in the military won't give up so easily. They now have the absolute initiative. You're right. Li Wei nodded lightly and said lightly, the military does have the initiative, do you know why they have the initiative? Nick Fury was slightly silent, why? Because the headquarters building of the Strategic Science Corps was bombed? Or is it because the head of the Strategic Science Corps is from Hydra? Neither. This is not just a matter of the organization and the military of the Strategic Science Corps, but a matter of the entire political circle and the military. Because the military does not have Hydra people. Nick Fury said in a deep voice, this time the blow was too far-reaching and exposed too many people at one time. Although they could be wiped out all at once, they were also shocked. The remaining people will hide deeper, and, and therefore gave the military an opportunity. Yes, it's because of this. Li Wei nodded approvingly and said lightly, because the military is clean and the government is not clean, they can stand on the commanding heights and criticize the government and gain the initiative. Nick Fury was surprised and looked at Li Wei with an incredible expression. After all, Li Wei did everything this time. Since he has done this, hasn't he? Considered the consequences? This is definitely impossible, and one who does not consider the consequences has never been a qualified businessman. So, what can we do to make the military give up this commanding height? Li Wei did not have a chance to shock the black man, but continued to say, the government chose to compromise and threw the Strategic Science Corps to the military, allowing the military to come down from the commanding heights and stand with them. You, Nick Fury swallowed hard, he seemed to understand something suddenly, and looked at Li Wei in disbelief. But they have forgotten that sometimes it is not necessary to compromise, and there is no need to use the temptation of profit to attract people from the military to the same front as them. We can pull them down. Since the military is clean and the government is not clean, then we can make the military unclean as well. As a result, the military will also be unclean. Gudong. Nick Fury was still swallowing, but the agents in the corner were shaking. Because they heard something that shouldn't be heard, will they be killed? They really wanted to cry without tears, but they came with Nick Fury. To pretend. In the end, he was put on the ground cleanly, and finally got up, but found that he could not get out at all. The elevator could not be opened, and whether there were stairs. Finally, the elevator opened, only to find that the other party was back. Then, Hyundai also had such a thing. Surely you will be murdered, right? You, what do you want to do? Nick Fury's voice trembled a little, even though he thought he was a little calm, but he still couldn't help but trembled. Because he was a little scared. What do I want to do? Li Wei shook his head, put a hand on Nick Fury's shoulder patted him on the shoulder, and chuckled softly, relax, this is a good thing. You are about to become S.H.I.E.L.D.'s chief. You have to laugh, what do you do? You have to cry. Since the military is unwilling to turn big things into small things, don't blame me for turning small things into big things out of nothing. God, what is s.h.i.e.l.d? Nick Fury hurriedly changed the subject and asked curiously. The strategic science core is a thing of the past. Li Wei shrugged and looked like definitely, then, it should be a different name. I have thought about the name, Strategic Homeland. Intervention, Enforcement and Logistics Division, Strategic Homeland Intervention, Enforcement and Logistics Division, dot, s .h .i .e .l .d, referred to as s .h .e .l .d. What do you think? Very good. Nick Fury pondered for a moment and nodded solemnly. He thought the name was very good as if it was born for him. S.H.I.E.L.D. The name of Aegis. The shield of the gods to protect the country and the world. When I think about it, Nick Fury can't help but feel his heart turmoil, blood surges. Sir, you're rafe it. Alfred respectfully placed a box of Lafite 1982 at Nick Fury's feet, took a few goblets and put them in front of him, and made a please gesture, please feel free. For it, a touch of cold water extinguished his blood, and Nick Fury looked at Rafi at his feet in embarrassment. Is this really drinking from a box? It's simply the evil capitalism? Nick Fury subconsciously took out a bottle of Lafite, 
poured himself a glass, and then looked at Li Wei who seems to have empty red wine in the glass, and said politely, Mr. Li Wei, do you want me to add some? No need. Li Wei shook his head, then picked up the wine bottle on the side and poured himself another glass, I don't. Drink. Nick Fury only feels that he has a black line on his face. Is this the legendary blindness? If you don't drink, what's in the glass in your hand? I saw you pouring it out of the glass with my own eyes. Do you want to drink a little? Li Wei looked at Nick Fury in surprise. After all, he had been looking at the wine bottle in his hand just now and couldn't help but ask politely. Okay, sir. Nick Fury was also welcome, and then took out an empty wine glass and held it in both hands. And Li Wei didn't mind, and just poured him a glass. Cheers to our victory. Both of them had reserved smiles on their faces and their wine glasses touched each other. Later, Nick Fury drank it in one gulp in order to show his pride. However, in the next moment, his face became a little strange. Because he always felt that the smell was a bit wrong. Although he has not drunk red wine for 82 years, he has also drunk red wine, the taste is not like this. It feels too sweet. Star. On the fourth floor, Li Wei's private space. The floor-to-ceiling glass for privacy provides unobstructed views of the scenery outside the window. The waves hit the beach and the scenery is extremely pleasant. But outside, you can't see the inside at all. This is the power of technology. It's nice to have money, Li Wei spoke slightly, but the Batman phone in his hand flashed with a sudden light. The second DC hero should also appear, Li Wei murmured, but his eyes were full of expectation. Diana Prince, or Wonder Woman, is the second superhero unlocked by the Batman phone. In fact, at the moment the bummed s.h.i.e.l.d was drawn to her, Li Wei was almost ecstatic. However, he was not in a hurry to let Diana show up. Because this time, Li Wei did not choose to extract the hero's skills. But chose to summon, summoning Wonder Woman directly to reality. After all, for a sister's paper, extracting something, too much violation. Li Wei has acquired Batman's skills, and if he gets Wonder Woman again, it will inevitably be a little bit irritating. After defeating Crossbones, the Batman mobile phone gained a heroic power. The second unlocked hero is the beautiful scenery in DC Wonder Woman. For her, Li Wei is definitely not willing to extract, so he summoned the reality directly. In s.h.i.e.l.d before, it was obviously unrealistic to extract out of thin air because no one knew what the consequences would be if Wonder Woman suddenly appeared out of thin air. Moreover, there are risks. But in the bedroom of Wayne Manor, Li Wei doesn't worry so much. So come out, Wonder Woman. Li Wei smiled slightly and pressed the call button of the Batman phone. Huh? A ray of light burst out from Li Wei's hands in an instant. Li Wei stared at the light steadily, as the golden light became more intense, as if there was something sacred from it. Countless golden rays of light illuminate the bedroom in a single shot. I don't know how long it took, as if it was a century long. Congratulations, the second hero, Wonder Woman, is summoned, boom. As the light of Batman's mobile phone converged extremely quickly, a figure shot out from the light. On the top floor of the mosaic villa on the cliff of Wayne Manor, Li Wei suddenly appeared in front of him with a long-haired woman with a healthy wheat complexion. She has long flowing hair that is almost black and brown, and her dress is fierce, which seems incompatible with modern times. It looks more like a Greek female warrior in ancient times. The upper body is only wearing a standard Greek-style golden battle helmet, and a golden forehead like an eagle. It is not so much a helmet, but more like a crown. The metal armor envelopes her exquisite curves, the wild style and the moving grace are well integrated. The Vigorous heroic spirit is overflowing, making Li Wei's pupils shrink. This sister paper is not weak at all. The outer armor showed her perfect body curve, and the high split design of her hips made her long legs inevitable. The combination of heroism and beauty, this is Wonder Woman, the existence of half-human and half-god in DC. Perfection is simply the art of heaven and earth. The number of past stars that Li Wei has flashed in his mind, as well as his fiancé Captain Marvel can't match the Wonder Woman in front of him. So beautiful, especially the heroic spirit radiating from her bones is even more fatal to men. Li Wei admitted that he was slightly absent for a moment. Fortunately, he was also a hero. This feeling of discomfort was fleeting. Wow, the sound of the shaking of weapons. And armor came out, 
and the Wonder Woman in front of Li Wei was also staring at him. This man who was completely unfamiliar to her, but she felt a sense of familiarity in her heart, as well as a strong affection and surrender, as if the two had known each other a long time ago. Snapped. Suddenly Diana knelt on one knee, looking allegiance to the female warrior, I, the daughter of Hippolyte. Queen of the Amazon Paradise Island, Diana Prince, knock on the boss. Get up, in the future, no need to be so polite. You can call my name Rorley. Li Wei waved his hand. Plum. Diana stood up immediately, with a smile on her face, interestingly called Roar, but I still like to call it Roar Boss. She wore a short, thin skirt frame with a blue bottom and gold rims. A sword in one hand and a shield in one hand, dressed as a standard ancient Greek female warrior. If you pay attention, you can still see that the girl is wearing an ornament, a silver bracelet the Guardian Silver Bracelet. This is the exclusive weapon of Wonder Woman. The bracelet has the Guardian power and is made by Hephaestus, the god of fire. The raw material is fragments of Aegis, the Aegis of Olympus the king of God. It can automatically attract fire power and protect the wearer from flying arrows. The stray bullet is close, indestructible. It seems that the Wonder Woman summoned is in the strongest state. Li Wei saw Diana's whole body equipment at the moment at a glance. Mantra Lasso, Guardian Silver Bracelet, Vulcan Sword, Divine Power Shield, Starlight Crown, Champion's Helmet, Wing Shu, Wonder. Woman's strongest equipment is just as much. Now, it's almost done. Just right, there is something you need to do, this is the way back, and Li Wei has already thought out a plan. Oh, what's the matter? Diana raised her eyebrows, and on top of her otherwise plain expression, there was a hot battle spirit. What a warlike sister. But it's not like an ordinary female man, the heroic female. Warrior has a peerless appearance and the charming girl should have. Such a combination is definitely a man's killer. But if you look down on her, it's a very sad thing. In the DC world, this girl can even compete with Superman, who represents the peak combat power of mortals. The strength of a girl who is blessed and blessed by the Olympus gods is absolutely beyond doubt. It is no exaggeration to say that Diana can definitely beat Ten Li Wei easily. Well, although it's not something worth showing off. However, Li Wei is still a pity. After all, Diana's relatives are not his personal property. Otherwise, the entire Olympus gods will be brought over, not to mention fighting Thanos, but at least it will be enough to rule the Earth. It's very simple, to destroy a military base. The information is here, you can take a look at it yourself. Huh? Li Wei clicked on a holographic pop-up window, like a computer projection, but Diana was not surprised at this. Obviously, she has seen this kind of technology. Asterisk Diana, this task will be handed over to you, are there any questions? Although Li Wei is very confident in Wonder Woman, he still asked symbolically. Diana curled her lips and looked very dissatisfied with this mission. Boss, you are underestimating my strength. Li Wei can only smile back. Yes, this task really underestimated her. It's just a military base on the Earth, with only a few high damage weapons at best, and there is no way to harm her at all. After all, her future, but an invulnerable goddess of war. Don't worry. A mere mortal barracks can't beat Amazon fighters at all. Just a few hours, wait for me to come back. Diana's smile was contagious, her pretty face was full of confidence, and Li Wei did not refute it. As a relative of the gods, she has this strength and is worthy of such confidence. It is no exaggeration to say that in the entire history of Olympus, the only person who has the same honor as Diana is Pandora. She even received more blessings than Pandora. Although I don't think a small military base will cause you any trouble, you should be careful in everything. You are more important to me than a base. Li Wei shook his head and said solemnly, Tao Zio once said that he should despise the enemy strategically and value the enemy tactically. The lion fights the rabbit with all its strength. I don't want you to have trouble. That way, I will be sad. Li Wei looked at Wonder Woman softly. Do not worry. There was a warm current in Diana's heart and she nodded solemnly, I will pay attention. Li Wei was also relieved, anyhow she took her words to heart. So, I'm leaving, boss. Diana gave Li Wei a playful smile, then nodded slightly, her feet were light, and her feet were already off the ground. Then, he flew to high altitude. The girl also wears a headset next to her ear, and also wears a high-tech bracelet by the way. 
The purpose is to make it easy for her brothers to show her the way at any time, so that she won't get lost. A glimmer of envy flashed in Li Wei's eyes. After all, flying has always been a human dream. Although there is already a plane, it is not flying by itself after all. However, if one day draws Superman, then he will fly too. Ross, the future Secretary of State, the de facto supreme leader behind the scenes of S.H.I.E.L.D., accept my first gift from you. Looking at the direction where Diana, who was already far away, could not be seen, a smile was drawn at the corner of Li Wei's mouth, anyway, you were at odds with S.H.I.E.L.D., and even quarreled with Nick Fury. Every day for a little bit of profit. I know, it's just to help you advance all this. Yes, that's right, Li Wei's first mission to Diana was to destroy the base Ross was responsible for. To kill the chicken and the monkey, let him know that the true master of S.H.I.E.L.D. in the future is amazing. The military of the province, then hit the idea of S.H.I.E.L.D. On the other side, Rose looked at the big brother in his hand, slightly stunned. After that, it was to break open and curse? That, that level 7 agent, dare to speak to himself like this, and even hung up his phone? Fuck. Asshole of a bitch, nigger. General Rose looked gloomy and cursed his eldest brother to the ground. Because Nick Fury on the other end of the phone actually hung up? How dare he? He is a majestic major general of the United States Air Force, and he is just a seven-level agent of a small strategic science corps? Get everyone up for me and interrogate them severely. General Rose gloomily looked at the S.H.I.E.L.D. agent who was controlled by the United States soldiers with rifles, and said coldly, among these people, there must be Hydra spies. He is now in urgent need of a sulking object. Although he can guarantee that Nick Fury is over, however, he is not here now, nor will he bear his anger. From this point of view, he is a lucky guy. The reason why General Rose was in New York was actually just a wonderful coincidence. But he didn't expect that it was this coincidence, but he brought such huge amounts of credit to himself. General Ross sat on the Humvee heading to the military base and closed his eyes slightly. In fact, he has not been exposed to war since he was appointed as a major general. It has always been an assigned case. What is the matter of the case? Is to handle official documents? A dignified general but was forced to do a civilian job, and no one could bear the change. But no way, he was promoted too quickly. What's more, the general's position was already full. In addition, the old guys in the military wanted to Polish General Ross and smooth his arrogance. That's why it deliberately embarrassed him like this. However, today's farce gave him an excellent opportunity. He was given a chance to escape from the affairs of the case and truly grasp real power. He won the Strategic Science Corps for the military, allowing the military to place its own chess pieces within the national system. There is no doubt that this credit is definitely a big one. Even if the military won't let him lead the reorganized Strategic Science Corps, it is impossible to use a civilian to send him casually. At the very least, this will also promote the commander-in-chief of a certain military base. Definitely, the most likely is the domestic military base. Because if it is a foreign military base, there is a possibility of war, and he is also likely to continue to be promoted based on this. After all, he only participated in three wars before he became a major general. If you continue, it really won't work. Whether it is a four-star general or a lieutenant general, the positions are already full. This is not a position to fool people. Like a major general and a brigadier general, but a real power boss? Those who are bitches want to block my way. As if thinking of something particularly pleasant, General Rose cursed, but there was a smile of joy that could not be concealed at the corner of his mouth. This time he acquired the Strategic Science Corps, which he has gained quite a lot. The agents of the Strategy Bureau are all real, and the elites who have been trained for a long time are undoubtedly strong. If this confiscated the military headquarters, it would definitely be a part of one's own combat power. This Strategic Bureau has no need to exist at all. I, Rose, can create a group of elites by myself. Rose was full of fantasy there, but at this time, Creek, the vehicle in the front of the Hummer convoy that was heading to the military base suddenly stopped suddenly. As a result, the entire fleet had to stop the car. What happened? General Rose's face was full of displeasedness. He was still closing his eyes just now, and he was suddenly braked the next second. Sir, before he knew the situation, 
a colonel hurried over from the front and gave a military salute. I, our military base was attacked. Asterisk. 28 The sword smashes the tank and divides it into two. 28 More um. Rose was stunned, and still a little unresponsive. Which military base? Headquarters. The Air Force headquarters in the suburbs of New York. The report just came. What? Ross's originally excited expression was suddenly distorted, and his military base was attacked. Who did it? Who is it? Rose's face suddenly became a little gloomy, staring at his adjutant. The adjutant was hesitant to speak, with some sweat on his face. What's wrong? Hesitating. A sharp light flashed in Rose's eyes, and the adjutant gritted his teeth and raised his head and said, I don't know, the other party, the other party is a woman. Woman. Rose opened his mouth, with a hint of playfulness at the corners of his mouth, the woman is directing. No, it's a man, a woman. There is only one enemy. When Wilson said these words, he was also desperate. Who could have imagined that a woman would dare to break into a military base and destroy it wantonly? Before experiencing this incident, Wilson absolutely did not believe that such a thing happened. But now, not only has it happened, but, isn't your own base an opponent? This kind of fucking thing, Wilson has encountered for the first time, really hell? But Rose is smiling. A woman is attacking her military base? Is this special lady kidding? Rose looked at his adjutant like a fool, Wilson, this cold humor, but it's not funny at all. I don't want another time. Rose was holding back his anger, but he was already planning to change an adjutant. Wilson was anxious, sir, really, we have injured hundreds of people, the other party, the other party has super ability, we are not opponents. She is not an ordinary person, much stronger than, than the previous captain of the United States. For fear that Rose would not believe it, Wilson took out a military phone call from his arms, this is the real-time video just sent to me by Lieutenant Colonel Mike. Look at it, sir. With that, he opened a video with horror on his face and handed it to Rose. Boom. As soon as I opened the video, I heard a violent roar. The video looked very clear, and I saw a gorgeous figure flying fast through the crowd, and each life was quickly harvested by her, and there was no one general. Those who were killed by her were all elites of the United States. Military, but, they couldn't even touch the shadow of the other side. The violent roar came from the tank. The base used the latest missing in action one main battle tanks, but the moment the giant artillery bombarded them, a beam of light flew out of the gunfire instantly. The armor-piercing projectiles fired from the tank's barrel did not cause any damage to the opponent at all. Then a sword glow, separated. From the video, seemed to be slashed towards the M1A1 tank barrel with extreme sharpness. Kang Dang? The barrel made of alloy split into two instantly and fell to the ground. In the next second, that figure had already rushed onto the turret. The light flashed again. Sneer the outer armor of the tank, which claims to be able to withstand the impact of 10 tons equivalent, was directly split into two halves by the light from top to bottom, and then abruptly split from the middle, exposing the cockpit, gun chamber, and a few dumbfounded artillery and tankers shivering there. Too frightening? They had never encountered something like this that broke their hearts in their entire lives. The world's strongest tank M1A1, which was just developed, was cut into two by a man and a woman? From the outside, it splits directly. Gosh, this is a tank, not to mention a sword, or a main battle tank that can't be penetrated by guns. But now, a woman was holding a long sword and split it directly. The process, not even a second, the tank is just like paper. Is this woman, still a human? This is the thought of a few tankers before they die. Boom. The M1A1 tank was directly destroyed. Oh, shit. Roar. Was horrified. When he saw the tank being split into two from the outside, his mind was suddenly bewildered. With a shake of his hand, the phone fell directly to the ground. But he didn't even think about picking it up, because, his mind was completely blank. What did he just see? One person, in just a few seconds, killed the soldiers in their base and lost their armor and armor. That's not to say. The M1A1 main battle tank that was just secretly developed was dismantled by the opponent before it even attacked the enemy. NS. Life and demolition, without a trace of technology, rely on a violent blow. The one cut from top to bottom was like a slash from the gods. The armor that the tank used to prevent collisions and gunfire was torn apart. Gurgle? Rose swallowed, his face pale. What? What to do, 
sir, sir. Wilson had no idea, so he had to ask his chief, because this matter was beyond his knowledge. When he first saw this video, his expression was no better than Rose. Waste. Rose cursed directly, a woman can't handle it? Has the military raised a bunch of pigs over the years? Get in the car and go back to the base. Drive at full speed, I want to see, what kind of super ability does this woman have? Rose's face was gloomy. Although Wonder Woman just opened the tank with a sword, he was shocked and unimaginable, but in his opinion, no matter how strong the opponent is, she is also a woman. He also saw the information of Captain America back then. The opponent can also blast the tank with one punch, but no matter how strong the ability is, it is outnumbered. Capture alive, you must capture this woman alive. This may be a new breed just researched out by a certain force. Rose licked his lips, his eyes filled with excitement. In his opinion, the value of this woman is more important than the agents behind him. If done well, this person will be a force on top. Obviously he would not think about it, this woman, dare to come alone, obviously, she is. Dependent on it? Rose's mind is full of the idea of catching each other alive. Asterisk boom the heavily armed Hummer uttered a violent roar on the road, reaching a speed of close to 200 per hour. Rose and hundreds of people drove toward the base at full capacity. Inside the car, Ross is debugging a real-time video. Although it was in the 90s and the internet had not yet become popular, the United States military's technology was the most advanced, and many of them were not even put into production, just trial operation. So short-distance real-time transmission can still be achieved. Noisy? The internal military receiver that resembled the tablet in my hand was finally docked to the base, and some real-time. Images were quickly transmitted. Awful? How can it be a tragic word? The corpses of the United States soldiers on the floor were all eyes wide open, as if they had seen something extremely terrible, and they couldn't catch their eyes. There are also countless wrecks of tanks, piled apart in the base square, in a mess, as if they were torn apart by people abruptly. Oh, my God. Rose covered his face, even if he had thought that his base was being attacked, but he did not expect that in just a few minutes, the destruction of the base had reached such a tragic level. The roar continues. Obviously, the enemy has not been wiped out, and Wonder Woman cannot be seen in the docking video, but the rounds of artillery fire and sounds are telling Rose that this enemy is beyond his imagination. Accelerate. Give me speed. Rose roared there, and the Hummer took the lead, rushing in quickly. The fight continued, but Rose couldn't bear to watch. Who sent this person? I, I don't seem to have sinned against someone recently, right? General Rose couldn't figure it out. Finally, the Hummer arrived at the secret U.S. military base on the Atlantic side of Staten Island, New York. Boom, before the car stopped, Rose pushed open the door and rushed down. Call out the moment Rose just got out of the car, a light suddenly appeared in his eyes, and then the adjutant who was following Wilson, hurriedly rushed towards his chief, Sir, be careful. Boom. The two fell directly on the ground, and Rose only felt a breath of death that suffocated him, quickly passing over his head. Then rumble? The Hummer he was sitting in just now was blasted into the air as if flying directly, and it fell to the ground with a violent noise, and the car instantly became a pile of parts. The driver was directly crushed into a pile of meat. The big team that followed had bad insights, and they all stopped, but otherwise, all the vehicles were rushed out for several meters by this shockwave. Everyone looked at the scene in horror. As far as I can see, there is no standing person. Oh, yes, there is one. A female warrior wearing a fuchsia armor and a starlight crown, she crossed her hands and leaned there. The shockwave just now radiated from her arms. Guardian silver bracelet? The artifact is made by Hephaestus, the skilled craftsman of the gods. The raw material is the fragments of the Aegis, of the king of god Zeus. It can protect the wearer from bow and arrow bullets. It can be used on two wrists. After the collision of the silver bracelet, it can release extremely huge amounts of guardian power. The shockwave just now is the emission of the guardian power. Click. Suddenly a crack broke in the wall of a building on the base, and then, the crack became more and more violent, like a spider web, it began to crack. Oh no. Rose, who was lying on the ground, stood up abruptly and stretched out his hand in grief trying to prevent the collapse of his base building. But, how could he stop it? Moreover, Wonder Woman has turned around. On the heroic face, there was still the evil spirit of the war just now, 
and Rose's expression suddenly froze there. This beautiful and unspeakable female warrior was like a god descending to the earth, but he was terrified to the extreme. It was this woman who destroyed his base directly. Boom! In the end, the building of the base collapsed suddenly, and huge amounts of smoke and dust hit it up. Everyone stared blankly, showing a deep despair on their faces. The base is gone. Kang, Wonder Woman, holding the Vulcan sword and divine power, shield in her hand, put her equipment behind her back, with a playful smile on her face. The people here, are so weak. Sure enough, the same as the mother said. Jingle bell? At this moment, Rose, who was lying there, suddenly rang the phone with a big brick tied around his waist. This is Rose's personal phone number, and few people know it. Step on, step on. Wonder Woman walked towards Rose. Rose was so anxious that he wanted to hang up, but he was so frightened by the momentum of Wonder Woman coming over that he didn't even dare to move. In the end, he bit the bullet and took it. Because, Wonder Woman's gaze was on the big brother at his waist, he couldn't catch it. Dear Lord Rose, do you like, this gift I gave you? Li Wei's brisk smile came on the other end of the phone. Diana, who had been approaching, stretched her brow suddenly, and she stopped in front of Rose, condescendingly looking at the Major General of the military. Gift. Rose glanced at Wonder Woman, and saw that she hadn't killed him, and couldn't help letting go of her tight nerves. But his heart is still hanging, because he doesn't know when this female soldier will kill him. Good night, I hope you can have a good dream. Correct. Li Wei suddenly said again, give the call to the beautiful girl in front of you, I want to talk to her. Beautiful girl. Ross forced a smile on his face, and subconsciously handed it to Diana. What's the matter, boss? Diana smiled and said to the phone. People who didn't know, didn't even know that it was this beautiful girl who had just raised a U.S. military base to the ground. Boss. Rose on the ground reacted. Oh, damn, the gift he was talking about is this one in front of me? Asterisk Rose collapsed a bit. He has only just realized it now. The gift Li Wei said was that his base was raised to the ground? What kind of gift is this? Rose wanted to die depressed. Then he heard the voice of Li Wei from Big Brother Daz Hong, Come back, Diana. What about these? People. Diana looked at Rose and others on the ground, and couldn't help raising her eyebrows. Rose's heart jumped to his throat suddenly, his eyes staring at Diana, his face turned pale in fright. Own life, is now pinched in the opponent's hands. He had no doubt that as long as the person on the other end of the phone said to kill, the next second he would say goodbye to the world. The whole person that Rose was afraid of was trembling. Fortunately, Li Wei let him go, someone will solve him, your task is done. Okay, then I'll be back soon. Huh? Diana had just finished speaking, and her powerful and slender thighs suddenly stomped on the ground. Call out she flew up in front of Rose and the others, and then lifted into the air heading back to Wayne base. From the beginning to the end, she didn't look at Rose and the others again, as if they were like ants. The group of people lying on the ground stared blankly, and had no idea what to say. Fly? This woman can actually fly? I don't know how long it took, but Wilson, who was lying there, finally reacted, and said to the dull-faced Rose, Sir, the enemy is gone. Roar, Roar let out a deep breath, and then realized, that he was soaked all over. Just now, he was really scared to death. He thought his life was going to die. Fortunately, the other party didn't take him to heart. But, who is the one who called himself? Rose didn't know why Li Wei gave himself a gift until now, as if, he didn't offend the other party, right? Who can tell me, who is this woman? Rose suddenly snarled hysterically, because he saw his base, which had been destroyed into ruins. Oh no, this is not true. In Rose's heart, it was a little crazy all of a sudden. No one answered him. Rose was depressed and wanted to die. He felt like he was dreaming until now. He had just received the agent of the Strategic Science Corps. Before he had time to be happy, God arranged such a scene for him. Who is this strong pointing non-human? Woman? Drop? 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 Suddenly a voice came from the military communicator on Rose's adjutant Wilson. Huh? Wilson immediately suppressed all his expressions and cautiously said to Rose, Sir, the White House call. Which one? Rose turned his head, his face was ugly, but he recovered slightly. After all, the owner of this phone is the head of the government. Yes, it's the head of the state. Military Secretary Ram. 
Wilson said in a bit of astonishment, this is the highest leader of the Communist Party. How could he not expect that what happened today would surprise such a bigwig? But think about it, a military base was destroyed, and it was destined to cause a sensation in the United States. Give me the communicator. Rose took the communicator, then quickly adjusted his mentality, and pressed the connect button. Hello, this is General Rose. Rose still had a hint of displeasure on his face, but he still answered the phone and put it to his ear. Shit, shit, Rose, you bastard, who did you provoke? As soon as the call was connected, there was a violent scolding from the Secretary of State for Military Affairs Ram. Although Rose could imagine it, his expression, still was, very upset, because he doesn't even know who he provokes. I don't care who you provoke, so immediately, wipe my ass clean, understand. Ram growled on the other side of the phone. Rose can only nodded his head in a solemn way, Your Excellency Ram, I, I know, I know. And also, okay, no problem, I will go back soon. I see. General Ross complied constantly, but his face became more and more gloomy. His face was gloomy as if dripping water, which was daunting. There is no doubt that this is definitely not a good thing. Release the people, let me release the people who were behind. Hanging up, General Rose slowly lowered his hands and closed his eyes slightly. After a while, he let out a long breath. Sir. The colonel outside the car thought he hadn't heard clearly, so he called. Out. I said let people go, didn't you understand? General Rose opened his eyes suddenly, and looked at the colonel coldly, not loud, but with an inexplicable coercion, which was awe-inspiring. Yes, general. The colonel nodded hurriedly and gave a military salute. Then he ran to the army green truck behind him and ordered his little brother to release all the agents who had just caught the truck and had not left the New York City area. The colonel did not ask why. This is the meaning of the above. It is a game between the government and the military. A small colonel of him is not qualified to participate. However, he didn't understand how. What happened to make the military leaders give up this low-handed opportunity? Shit. Shit. General Rose yelled again, and the anger in his heart was almost indescribable. Too frustrated. If your base was overthrown by others, the resources that were finally obtained were directly intercepted by the other party. This made Rose's heart so sad that he wanted to vomit blood. Sir, Lieutenant General Sheldon, let you in. He, he's still alive. Wilson told Ross another bad news. The top leader of the base in front of him is not dead. 4. Rose, this is nothing less than another bad news. In such a battle situation, that old guy, is not dead yet. Go. Rose waved his hand and walked toward the base with Wilson. Star.